So here is the current state model that was used to describe the current situation and workflow that was provided by Northrop Grumman. Uh, the issue block right here is where satellites are created. Here's our maximum of 18. It uses a schedule, which is described by a Gantt chart that was supplied to us by Northrop Grumman. And here we can see the duration of each um, satellite rate coming into the system. And then from there, it is serialized um, SN1 through 18. And then it enters the process flow through station one, which has these tests in them, through station two and down the rest of the line until it's uh, finished at station eight. And then the data is outputted in this uh, record block down here so that we can analyze the data for its statistics and then it's shipped to launch or store. And from here, we can go ahead and run it. And we can see the satellites moving through the system as they complete. And they all have unique processing times due to randomized um, distributions of numbers. You can see they're queuing in different stations where there's larger bottlenecks which is one thing that ARENA is useful for, is visualizing bottlenecks in your process. So then I'll ask you um, if you want to see the report, and the report is really nice for a lot of things, particularly on average, how much value added time is being put into a single satellite, how much non-value added time is put in, how, how long it waits on average, which is a huge deal when it comes to the amount of money uh, that you're putting into a satellite. And if you move forward in the report, there's the time it spends in the queue. Um, and what matters the most is this scheduled utilization, where you can see the utilization for each uh, resource that's utilized. So resources can include staff, it can include mechanical and electrical ground support equipment. And so in here, you can see that there's a, there's a smaller utilization uh, number for staff. So that means you can play with your staffing requirements to either increase or decrease that utilization. And 80% is typically a realistic target for utilization. And for instance, if you had a, you know, a computer test bench and it was being overutilized, you would add a second bench in order to decrease that so that you wouldn't have a bottleneck.